thanks for checking out our channel today. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. What we're going to be looking at today is a 2018 F-250 that we built for the Rowden Township Fire Department. This fire department will serve as their fire chief's command vehicle. This vehicle features Sound Off Signal's blueprint electrical system along with the 3.0 OBD2 reader, which allows us to gain all the factory's vehicle signals off of the OBD2 port without needing to tap any wires. The first part up top, we have the Sound Off Signal M Power light bar in a 53 inch configuration in red. This has takedown left alley and right alleys. On the front fender, we have sound off signal M powers. In the front headlight, we have sound off signal white hideaway LEDs. And in the grill, we have sound off signal M powers with a total of four. In the grill, we have three sound off 100 watt speakers. Two of them are tied into the blueprint system and the other one is tied into the feed. Up front, this bumper is a worn push bumper in the stainless steel configuration. It has a worn 16.5 uh, steel winch cable in it. On the running boards on the vehicle, we have sound off signal 4 inch M powers. We've installed a Lear fiberglass cap. On the rear quarter panel, we have sound off signal M powers. And then we have a Cosmo auto eject that's tied into a Xanatrex inverter that has a built-in transfer switch and also an inverter. In the back of the vehicle, we have sound off signal M powers in dual color configuration. We have sound off signal hideaway LEDs mounted in the brake lamp and then we also have them in the reverse the white goes on in reverse and also rear scene providing additional warning then we have the reds and the turn signal brake that shut off when the vehicle is put into turn or brake mode and then down below we have sound off signal m powers these are wired to come on with reverse and scene also to provide additional scene lighting with the tailgate down you can see the command cabinet that we have installed. We have sound off signal 32 inch strip lights providing additional scene lights inside this command cabinet. We have a file drawer, radio face plate, and command board. What you can see with all of our command boards, we custom make these in house. They are made from a HDPE plastic with a magnetic dry erase material. These also ratchet in multiple different locations and then you pull it up and let it go and it goes down. You can see we've installed Blue Seas USB and 12 volt charging points along with their customer supply radios. And then on the side you can see one of our custom brackets that we make to mount the blueprint components to. It allows for ease of accessibility. Now taking a look at the side, we've provided them with additional storage with the side access doors. They have adjustable shelvings, which we'll see soon, and we've installed cargo netting. We've also installed additional LED lights to the cabinet that illuminate the gear when the slide-out doors are open. Okay, now you can see with the slide-out out, you can get a better look at the side storage. These adjustable shelves loosen up with a 7 16 wrench, and then you can adjust them to full depth. As you can see, our adjustable shelf track is CNC into the plywood to give you more space inside your compartment instead of just screwing it onto the side. <clears throat> and then you can see the cabinet of full extension. This is a Slide Master 2,000 pound slide at 100% extension. Taking a look under the back seat, we fabricated an electronics compartment that allows all the components to be mounted and easily accessible for years of service. Here you can see the Xantrex Freedom Inverter Charger, the Blueprint Control System. We've also installed a Whale and Howler in the vehicle, along with the Phoenix Storm Pro Siren, 
and then you can see we have our fuse panels and ground studs. And taking a look at the center console, we have our 2017 plus F series console. You can see that we've mounted the inverter control on the side along with a USB port. Then you can see we've reintegrated the factory USB into the console along with their radios, the Bluetooth controller, and cup holders. And we've also installed their Black Smoke Apparel iPad mount. Custom designed this console for the customer. On this, we've made a padded armrest that has a nice contour to it. And this lifts up additional storage. And then we've also tied in all of the forward upfitter switches to give the user more functionality and control. Taking a look at the control panel on this unit, you can see we have takedown, left alley, right alley, and rear seam. We have their howler. We also have the ability to cruise the lights on the vehicle, dim everything, and then the number eight button is tied into the ground lighting on the vehicle. And these are technique ground lights that are all around the vehicle that go on automatically when the vehicle is put into park and they can also be turned on and turned off from the control panel. So we put the vehicle into full scene mode which turns on the takedowns, left alley, right alleys and rear scene and you can see the white override and the light bar. We have the front hideaways in scene mode along with the front bumper, the underbody lights, the running board lights, the lights that are mounted to the rear fender and then you can also see the rear seam functionality that we've given the customer 